Hello, you're welcome once again. Um, this is the last video as far as the products, the derivative of uh, products of functions are concerned. Actually, high derivative of products of functions. And uh, we just want to look at the third example so that uh, you can face any mathematical problem in the future. So what we're trying to do now is to find um, the derivative of this s cubed then x. So we are looking at it, differentiating this 100 times. Okay, so let's see how we do this. So 100 derivative of this particular function. So we look at this product of two functions. So the polynomial and the log function. So doing this, we will call on Leibniz theorem of a product of functions and say that this will be equal to, so we'll be summing up a lot of things, while r begins from 0 up to uh, 100, so you have 100 combination r, then multiplying the derivative of uh, s cube, so you are looking at the r derivative then times the n minus r derivative of so we need to break the s but we have to look at the n derivative of the s and place it here which we have done in one of our videos so we just recall that that will give us negative one n minus one n minus one factorial then n to the power negative one so we have this. So this is how we set up the whole uh, problem and then we begin to solve. So the summation here means that we'll be taking term term. So we have zero, then add moves to one, two, three, and so it's so fascinating because as we move on we realize that the higher derivatives of this gives us zero. So we'll, we'll stop on the way and simplify. So let's go. Add is zero, we have 100 combination zero. So we put uh, zero here. So zero derivative, we are not differentiating at all. We have s cubed here. And the 100 derivative, because this is zero, so zero minus 100 gives us 100. So we have 100, so we put 100 here. But we we'll subtract one from it, it gives us 99, which is odd. So the result gives us negative one. Then this becomes 99 factorial and so on. So this gives us negative um, 99 factorial. Then to the s to the power negative and alright. Let's continue plus. So add now from zero it goes to one. So our add is one. So we put one. And uh, we having 100 combination 1. So 1 is here means we differentiate this particular one once. So differentiating s cubed gives us 3s squared. So this multiplied by 3s squared. Add this 1. So we come here and uh, if you subtract 1 from n, realize you are getting 99. But we come here. So we are differentiating this particular one 99 times. So it means that n at this moment is 99. We place 99 here. We subtract one from it gives us 98, which means this place positive. Then it will enhance 98 factorial. So we multiply this one by 98 factorial, then s to the power negative 99. Good. So plus add becomes 2, so we have 100 combination 2 then if this place is 2 means that we will differentiate this one 2 times but after our first differentiation we have this so if we continue from here we are going to have 6x so this multiplied by 6x okay. then we move on to this aspect the add we are carrying along is 2 so we subtract from this one we have 98 but when you come here, it is 
minus 1. So you subtract 1 from 98, it gives us 97, which means this is uh, negative. So you have the times negative uh, 97 factorial. Now you have x to the power negative 3 minus 98. Good, so last, let's move to the third one. R is 3 now. So you have 100 combination 3. And uh, so 3. This differentiate this one 3 times, but the second the second derivative here is this. So another derivative of this gives us 6. Alright, so when we come here, we subtract 3 from this, we are having 97. And uh, so 97 minus 1 gives us 96, which means it is even and uh, it's positive. Okay. Then we put that here and we have a 90, 96 factorial. Then we multiply that x to the power negative 96. Then we put that as the last one.
and uh, 96 factorial. Then we have what do you have here? X to the power negative 97 then plus 970 200 okay so we have all this one being multiplied by 96 factorial s to the power negative 97 okay, so we try to simplify so we multiply this whatever we get to add to this subtract them add. so while we do that we're going to have this place to be negative 941094 and uh, this place this is 285100 minus 2880 plus 970200 and all this be multiplied by 99 factorial s to the power negative 97. Yep, so, when we add all that we have there, and then um, when added properly, everything here will give us 6. So, multiply by 96 factorial x to the power negative 97. So, this, 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 this. Simplified, we give a 6. Then multiply by 96 factorial multiplied by x and to the power negative 97. So this gives us the hundred derivative of the function. We could also write it as 6 multiplying 96 factorial divided by x to the power 97. And this gives us the hundred derivative. The hundred derivative of this particular function good so thanks very much for watching this particular um, tutorial this is where we'll end today's uh, video and in our next video we'll start talking about differential theorems okay we'll talk about s trima and the rest uh, l'hopital's rule and so on so make a bit with me so that we discuss a lot of things uh, thanks very much for your attention, we shall meet again.